There you go. All right. Okay. Right. So we've got this here. Do you want to come with? Yeah. Yeah. We've got this hole for the gas cable as it goes into the kiln, okay. which we'll have a look in a minute. That's a nice neat hole. Yeah. That you drew. We've got cobwebs all over it already. <laughs> and this will basically reach anywhere we want. With if the we want, extension if it is that we that do we want it on the <laughs> on the towpath, you can. You can, but you just hope no boats go by. <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah, you could, the best place is here. Yeah. So we're going to have a bottle here. Yeah. Secured with a chain to the tank. We've got the chain. But yeah, which I'll fix today. Yeah. And then this this can go on a bottle here, and that one can go on a bottle there. Oh wow! So you can have a bottle either size. Oh wow! I can yeah. have two bottles. I mean, you can only use one at a time because if you open them both, one I will, know one will just fill <laughs> the other off. So, uh, what is the downside to? Oh, I can fill up other people's bottles. Yeah, watch out! This. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. Uh, <laughs> One downside yeah. is that the the controls for the pressure are out here. Right. So basically someone's got to be in there who knows what they're doing, who knows how they want the kiln to be. It's a two-man and job. And then another one is going to have to be out here adjusting these well, controls. two-woman job. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. Yeah, okay. And that's then. it. Okay. So we have a look at the kiln inside now. Right, yes. But we can't go in through that way because there's no. pots on there. So we'll go in through. We'll go, you'll have to come right in. Right, I, you I'll go I'll You go in. in. I'll, I'll, I'll take the phone okay, that's the kiln. There's some plant pots. <laughs> right. Okay. It's got gingham on it. So this is, I think this Take, is I'll the, film you from here. This is the first ever Well, boat. no, there are, no, because someone, someone I knew, there's been glass kilns, but not ceramic kilns. Yeah. So I'll just stick that there for now. Yeah. So this is the kiln, and yeah. it's now in a position where it can be fully opened without touching the sides. That's there's a fair side. bit of room, considering... Yeah. The it's limitations. more than 45 centimetres, which it says is but the I'll, limit. I'll just take this. Looking? Okay, so here's the kiln. It's 40 kilowatts and it's got two, two big burners under there, mm. which is what we've just hooked up. So basically they have a bracket here uh, and a, two bolts either side that go through. It's a perfectly lined up position under the kiln I'll just go here we should be able to see the kiln the burn is there mm -hmm. hope that you can see that and this is the cable that we've just hooked up so basically uh, this is a quick release because it's gas it's nice and nice and safe you can just take that off and it's completely safe if things get out of hand and then you just quickly clip them on we had to have this this piece this extra piece made uh because of our purposes it needs to be outside. uh but yeah it, we boat. we can't keep a gas bottle inside a boat because uh the fumes will drop to the floor and if they've got nowhere to go uh it'll explode yeah. so this is the hole from the other side and uh, yeah, so basically we just extended this hose with this hose to the burner and that's sorted. All that we need now is a 47, bo 47 kilo bottle of propane and then there's a, a, thermocouple, a thermocouple device to do here that we've got to put in and then of course there's uh, a chimney which will go across uh, here to hear at these holes, I assume that they're they're the kiln fittings. This is a spy hole, so you can you can keep an eye on what's going on in the kiln there during a firing, and of course that can be plugged. And that's the hole for the thermocouple. So basically, you've got. I don't think it's uh, a spy hole. Well, well, we'll find out what it is. This is the thermocouple. So this goes through on the other side not the way I'm putting it in now and that'll go in and that'll tell us on this device here that 
it's uh, basically like a an electrical multimeter and it it can read temperature on this device here and this kiln can fire stoneware and porcelain it can go up to 1320 degrees celsius which is in other words bloody hot we, we're not doing that at first but are we? just yeah it's just earthenware which is about 30 about a thousand about a thousand yeah so uh, um, and it's all on the canal of course yeah. <laughs> right what's got to go what's got to happen next is there is a um, some shower uh, where, where's that piece of metal cord? Oh, it's on the shelf, isn't it? Oh, no, it's on that picnic basket. Where? Oh, right, yeah. So what, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to put this, which is normally what you have around shower, like on your shower, um, around the that goes around, that goes around the the hoses on the shower I, I i think it's i think that's what it is uh we're going to put that around uh the very last bit of hose here around this so that it will be hopefully insulated so i'm just gonna just gonna put that there while i do this so just feed that through there. Oh, it's caught on my shoelace. Ah. God. Right, there we go. Right. So yeah, basically that's gonna go around that and then that goes back onto oh. <laughs> right keep that out of the way oh, and it go back on there that's it okay yeah so oh, upside down so yeah there oh, it's very but uh, that will now insulate that last little bit and obviously I'll have to try and keep that out of the way of there so if you just rest it there that will shield this hose from the heat of the kiln so just that little bit there and by once we get to this point here whatever heat is coming off the kiln will have dissipated by the time it gets up to here but it's just this first this main bit that's mostly level with the kiln will be insulated from the heat. So yeah, and there's the wheel in the corner, a work table on there. And then we also have a table that we dangle above the kiln while it's not in use for another table in the, in the studio. So yeah, play with mod.co.uk, watch this space. Right, finally, the kiln has been unpackaged. It's looking nice and shiny. I can't even get it fully on the screen. But um, for those of you who might be lucky enough to own one of these things, uh, you're, going, you're going to see two parts <coughs> of pieces that come with the rod of kiln. <laughs> yeah, it's quite confusing. So you get two spares of these. But yeah. if you just take that on its own and try to put it in there, you'll notice it won't fit. So what you have to do, as well as not burn your fingers off, is to put that in first, which then extends to place where you're going to get this further away. And that completely seals that hole then. Yeah. And so when you take that out to have a peek, then, you know, it's it's got a considerable distance away from the really, really hot part. So I think we're not that proud of this chimney, yeah. isn't it, babe? Yeah, well, we'll, go, we'll get to that in a minute. So uh, this is a brick to cover the um, 
the chimney, the exhaust, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and so the the chimney is now in place. Um, you have to make sure because this kiln is detachable in one, two, three sections, and sometimes four. It can be extended to four. Um, you've got to be able to put this in. So it needs those three sections need to be lined up, and of course you can tell by following the lines. Pretty but uh, when you put in the kiln shells, these two pieces go in first to support the smaller one. So you line it up. But the problem was is that this was just that little bit too short, and it was leaving a gap here. So we've had to put in these two little uh, what are these called? Uh, props. They're whatever. just two little like wedges yeah. that we put in there Fresh temporarily tree. until we can figure something out better. But now it's it's in. It's satisfactory, but it's not brilliant. Um, and of course, it's all right actually. That's very yeah. That's it's really lined sealed. up. I mean, ro 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 but I could do yeah. with um, some better ones than this because these look like they'll break. Yeah. But they seem to work in theory, so all I know right. it works in theory. Great. Okay. Yeah. And uh, to do the reduction firing, there's uh, there's two uh, air inlets here. And basically, what you do is you can undo that, and if you open that, that lets air in with the gas. And if you close that and seal it, whichever way is seal. I'm using my left hand, so I'm all. Oh, it was the way I was going. Oh, just a sec. That's confusing. That's Sorry, just a sec. That's yeah. That's it. Yeah. So that that when that's like that, when that's closed, that's reduction, and that's for ignition and normal firing. Then you just lock it with a nut. Um. We'll do a video of how to fire this because you have to line these up depending on which way the gas is coming. If it's coming downhill, you have it turned that way. If it's coming uphill, you turn it that way. And if it's coming side to side, you go that way or that way. So it's 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 quite confusing actually. Uh, yeah, they're not very clearly really marked, bad. so you have to just intuitively find out which. So it's either up or down, left or right, basically for both burners. It's um, about the direction of the it, gas. Yeah, it depends. Strictly. It depends where you've got your gas gas feed in. So ours will be from above, from the hole up there. So we've got to find out if it's that way or that way, basically. So, um, and it, you, there's no way that you can get it wrong because you'll hear the gas coming through when um when you hold that down and then you hold that down and then you press that a few times until it lights but once it's in it'll stay in and when you shut it off by doing that uh, it will light immediately as soon as you do that uh, so then you light it again so uh, yeah anyway that's it the kiln is set up let's paint a few Kiln shelves now. And now it's just uh, back washing the the shelves yeah. and cleaning it out because obviously it's got it's got the bits of brick dust. dust in it and stuff. And uh, for the first firing, it will have to be just fired with nothing in it for about an hour at a hundred oh, degrees more that, or more because we live on a boat. So uh, yeah, so basically you do that to uh, evaporate. Shelves any yeah. moisture so instead it says in the manual that you only have to do that once but because we live on a boat we're gonna have to do that every time we use the kiln so, so. that's why we're buying 47 kilo bottles okay so finally after three or four months we've got it set <laughs> up <laughs> in the box.